joining us for 10 days out from the Berlin Marathon. Good morning everybody and welcome to Paddington Station in the centre of London. Yeah, you're joining us for 10 days out from the Berlin Marathon. So yeah, I've got a really fun day coming up. We're off to the countryside to go and visit Shane Benzie, who's kind of, I've been working with all about my running form. Uh, I'm going to meet up with a few clients. I'm going to talk about the best recovery tool I've ever found. That's coming out later. So we've got an action-packed day, but first, I'm desperately hungry and I needed some breakfast and we've only got, as usual, about 10 minutes to get breakfast and catch the train out to a beautiful place called Goring in Red. Right, you guys, we've got our prep catch up because we've just got this special new two together rail card. So trying to be a bit more eco taking the train to more places. Every time I go and see Shane, we always jump in the car, but yeah, trying to catch the train as much as we can. So we've got this new two together rail card. So yeah, trains are actually quite cheap now. So uh, yeah, if you travel a lot with one of your best friends, doesn't have to be your partner, then uh, check out the two together rail card. Right, we're as usual running very late. So we've got to get, jump on this train. No, no seats, don't have time for that. And yeah, gonna get this lovely porridge down. Right guys, we'll see you. Yeah, anywhere, anywhere, anywhere. Let's get on, get on. Right, let's find a seat. We'll see you in a bit. Right guys, so we've just got off the train at can you see that? It says Reading, or as some people might think, it's Reading. So I thought, what a perfect time to have a quick chat about a few books that I like that have influenced me over the years. So I've got six uh, sort of like motivational books and then six, I said three motivational books and then three like instructional books. So I've made a quick list here. So my first uh, one that I base a lot of my training on, had a lot of uh, breakthroughs using it was the 80-20 uh, Matt Fitzgerald book. Yeah, basically 80% of your week spent nice running sort of easy and 20% doing quality uh, sort of speed work. So yeah, check that out. And then the two Bibles really, uh, Advanced Marathon Running by Fitzinger and Douglas and Jack Daniel. Advanced Marathoning. Advanced Marathoning and uh, the Jack Daniels Formula by Jack Daniels. So yeah, check those out. And then yeah, for my sort of motivational ones. How Bad Do You Want It? by Matt Fitzgerald. Um, yeah, same guy that did 80-20 running. Really, really good motivational book. It's kind of all summed up in the title there. How Bad Do You Want It? People ask me what motivates me to get out and train every single day. I just want it more than the next person um, sort of thing. And yeah, some really great stories in that. Um, Last to First by Charlie Spedding. He was uh, one of our greatest ever or one of our one of British greatest ever, <laughs> go the wrong way, greatest ever marathoners. Um, yeah, just an amazing character. Talks all about his life and his training in America. And um, then, yeah, and it's easy for me to say, uh, Dana Dan Finns, uh, running with the Kenyans and the way of the runner, uh, looking at Kenyan, African running culture and um, out in, Japanese running culture as well, two really good books. And then a little bit of a, another sort of one that is quite good fun is uh, Running and Stuff by James Adams. I'm gonna miss the train. Running and Stuff, <laughs> like now, by James Adams, who's a British ultra runner. Doesn't really do so much, you know, but just talks about some of the amazing races he's done over the years. So yeah, a few little books there. I'll put all the links to those down below as well as um, my other sort of, uh, yeah, there are a few of my little highlights and some other, loads of books down there that, that I've all read and really enjoyed reading over the years. So yeah, all down below. Right, it's time to get to Reading. We're at Reading, to Gora. Right guys, so we've made it to the beautiful 
I always get this wrong. I'm going to say Oxfordshire town of Goring, which is actually on the Thames path uh, where Sarah ran 100 miles. And we've got that video. Yeah, I've done it a few times. But we've got that video coming up to you in a few weeks of Sarah running the Thames path 100 miles. And yeah, I was crewing her. So yeah, stay tuned. Subscribe for that because we've got that coming up. But more importantly for today, we're here to come and see Shane from Running Reborn. In my eyes, the best running form coach anywhere in the world you can't get any better than chain uh, and what we're going to be working on which is a lot today is going to be to do with like my arms and yeah that, that efficiency of movement and stuff so yeah without further ado i'm going to let shane introduce what we're going to talk about today and uh and yeah then go out have some fun and see what sort of changes we can make right guys so uh, yeah i've been working with shane um well i suppose technically for about the last three years but really only sort of the last sort of three four months to really improve my running form and get moving across the ground but he's picked up a few things over the session we have working on at the moment we're working on my arms um and yeah creating some better efficiencies there so i'll let shane explain what we're sort of what's going wrong to start with and uh, what we're going to do to fix it Okay, so yeah, so with Ben's arms, yeah, Ben's a great runner, he's doing well, but I do see some inefficiency in his arms. And the inefficiency I see is basically an imbalance. Uh, we all, you know, for runners, we crave balance and symmetry because that outbeats power every single time. So we look for balance and symmetry in those arms. The reason we've got the tape on the arms today is we've put the tape on to try and give Ben uh, a little bit of a, a better idea of his proprioception and what he's doing because of course he doesn't have bad arms on purpose. So we've put the tape on to give him a visual and also a feeling of how those arms are moving. Um, and then once we get that arms, once we get the movement good and once Ben can feel how to move them well, that gives him a much better chance of kind of doing that in the future. So it's been a really, really good session. I think we've seen some big yeah, it's changes. Yeah, been, been really great having this tape on and you can sort of, you almost get yourself into the right sort of position when you're static and see how that feels and then when you're out there running you can sort of repeat that and repeat that sort of feeling um, and yeah I think we've seen quite quickly just in a couple of goes um, how how that sort of my arms have become far more symmetrical definitely, and um, definitely. sort of losing a lot less energy and yeah, yeah it's certainly been a big improvement. And I think the big thing with the tape is it's not telling you what to do with your arms, it's letting you know what you are doing. Yeah. yeah. And that's the big thing, that's the big thing. Increasing that proprioception, getting your software, changing your software. Muscles don't really have a memory, it's this we're changing. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's happening and uh, yeah, bodes well for the future. And it's an interesting thing, a lot of people think I've come here just to talk about just legs <laughs> and just that part of the body. Uh, but a lot of stuff I have been working on is inefficiencies throughout the whole the whole body as well. So. Um, yeah, if you're interested, as I always say, I'll put all of Shane's details down in the uh, description below and uh, yeah, get in touch with him. Come out to the beautiful Goring on a sunny, <laughs> sunny day. Yeah, it's always sunny. Um, yeah. And yeah, um, yeah, come and get in touch and uh, see how much Shane can improve your own. Cheers, Shane. Take care. Bye. Right guys, hey. right. right, so we're heading back to London. I was nice and organised and got my lunch in Pret earlier, but Sarah <laughs> wasn't hungry enough when she was in Pret, so uh, yeah, we're off, off. didn't think about the future self. So uh, yeah, we're going to go and grab some lunch and it's back in to London. And yeah, but a fantastic session with Shane. So, so grateful for the work he's putting into my running. And yeah, you can see I've made some really good gains this year. So we always get in touch with him and yeah, let him know uh, what you think and everything. Right, train, London, and then we yeah, hopefully get out and do a run. Got to do some running. Have a run. Right guys, so it's finally here. We're finally getting out on the run and this spot here, Standing next to this uh, orange life boy is where I start pretty much every run I go on in London. Do all my warm ups um, just along here. So, yeah, today is no different. So, yeah, we're going to head up to Stratford, uh, the Olympic Park where the London 2012 Olympics was. We're about 10 ish K. Go out there, just going to keep things nice and easy. Catch up with one of my uh, coaching clients who just did amazingly well at a race at the weekend. So, we're just going to yeah catch up have a chat see how things are going and yeah just incorporate my training into work pretty much how everybody else uh, does their things out there so yeah join me out the rock long i'll next see you up in stratford and we have a look around the olympic park 
Right guys, so we've made it up to the Olympic Park. I love running around here. Behind me, you've got the Olympic Stadium there from 2012. Now the home, of course, of West Ham uh, Football Club. And just to the side of that, the Mittel Orbit, which I don't really know what that is. Just like a tall structure. You can slide down it and get some lovely views over London. So yeah, so nice running around here. And yeah, if you're ever visiting London, fancy a bit of a run, jump on the Jubilee Line, the Central Line, out to Stratford, and have a run around here. Loads of waterways just down here that you can run on. And yeah, when well, the weather's as nice as it is today, which it always is in London, of course. And yeah, very nice place. Right, I'm gonna finish up this run. We're on 10.2k, got another four or 500 meters to meet up with my friend. So uh, yeah, we're here doing some mattress shopping to try and improve our sleep because as you know, that is the best recovery tool out there. That better than any gadget, better than anything, a couple of extra hours sleep every night will be the best thing you could ever do. So yeah, I've, we've, we're getting a new bed. We did buy a mattress. I did buy a mattress from a company called Emma Mattresses last week and it was awful. <laughs> I've hardly slept a wink since. So uh, yeah, that's going back to the shore. And now we're just coming to test out some new ones tonight. So I'll let you know guys, guys which one we choose and which one we're going with. Oh, down here. Um, yeah, so yeah, as anything with running and any sort of endurance sport, any sort of sport, sleep is the most important thing you can ever do. Especially when you get to sleep next to somebody as lovely as Sarah. <laughs> oh, I'm too cheesy. Yeah, we'll, we'll edit that a bit out. And so, don't uh, say that's what she said. <laughs> Uh, no, no more, that's what she said, Jess. <laughs> so uh, yeah, right guys, that's uh, just yeah, what we're up to, mattress shopping basically. Now we're going to get some oh, burritos so for dinner and, and uh, we'll wrap the vlog up there. So yeah, my number one recovery tip in the world, get some sleep. Right guys, we're going to wrap up today's vlog here because yeah, we're, we're having, well, we've actually had tortilla, but we're going to act like we're about to have it because <laughs> we couldn't wait to film. Uh, yeah, some really nice jackfruit burritos, absolutely amazing. And uh, yeah, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Hit that like button, share it with your friends. Let us know always what's happening in your training and what's got what's coming up for you. And yeah, let's share the journey together. Thank you all to the thank you of course to all the Patreon supporters. We're, yeah, it's getting a little bit too hard to get all your names up on the screen out. So we're going to come up with something new for the next video. So yeah, thank you all for the support that you give. Anything else you want to add, Sarah? No, I don't. Just think so. just like, share, share the love. Let us know what's happening, and of course we will see you in the next one.